So this morning I was on my way to the airport and it had been raining and I was driving a rental car and I had declined the insurance and all of a sudden I noticed that a car was coming across the median and I was afraid that not only I but others might be hit. I was frightened, I was anxious, and I was distressed. Was it traumatic? No, because the car came to a stop in the median and no one gratefully was hurt. But you know what? If it had kept coming, and if I'd seen it coming right at me, that might have been traumatic. What's the difference? What makes an event something we call traumatic and an, and an event that we just call upsetting? Well, first of all, if you feel like your life or your sanity or your bodily integrity or your safety is threatened and you're at the point where you can't cope, you can't remember what you felt, you can't feel your feelings, you're kind of in shock, clearly the event is something that was traumatic. But I was able to keep thinking, keep functioning, keep myself safe, and so I was upset and yeah, I was sweaty and shaky, but I wouldn't particularly call it traumatic. Now, if you go out to the International Classification of Diseases and you look up traumatic, or you go to the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or if you go out to Sidron Institute or the American Psychological Association or any other organization that believes it has the authority to define what is traumatic, you'll find there are some common elements. Number one, a person has to feel that their life or sanity or bodily integrity or safety is seriously threatened. Number two, the event has to be overwhelming. They have to be unable to cope somehow as a result of it. And number three, even the subtle definitions point at the fact that traumatic experiences, those things that do overwhelm us, who defines what how is really up to the person. So in other words, I can't tell you what's traumatic for you, and likewise, you can't tell me what is traumatic for me. But what is common is it has to be something that is so overwhelming that neither one of us could cope. So this notion of traumatic experiences being subjective is really important to think about as we go forward.